All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo. This is a sixth generation ThinkPad X1 Carbon, right? We're gonna use, be using a J1 or PH1 screwdriver. There's a little hole here if you wanna do a battery reset if your computer's not powering on properly or something. You can use a little folded out paper clip or a pin. Press and hold that for about 15 seconds and that should reset it. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and open this thing up. This is having issues with the fan. It's giving a fan error. So we're just gonna undo all these screws. I believe all these screws actually stay attached to the bottom case. So you don't actually have to pull them out from the um, case. Uh, you just undo them until you hear them click. All right, next I'm gonna get my fingernails in the little gap here and I'm kind of just pulling up here. While I pull up, I'm gonna also slide my fingernail down the side. Of course, you can use some plastic pry tools or whatever, um, but there we go. Here we can see the fan and the fan. Yeah, it's having a hard time spinning here. So I'm gonna have to take the heat sink out and then see if I can repair this fan. Uh, give me a second, I have a customer here and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. I did clean out the fan and I noticed it's a bit noisy. So let's go ahead and take this thing apart. All right, so we're gonna first remove the battery. Um, you don't actually have to remove the battery to do this, but I'm gonna do it just because. All right, keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. Uh, the way I do that is I put them flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern I remove them. All right, if this video helps you out, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade or repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this out. So after you get all the screws, we're gonna go ahead and pull here to lift the battery up and then it slides out like this. You can see these little feet that slide into those little clips. All right, so we'll clean that off. Okay, next thing, let's go ahead and open this screen up a little bit. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna hold the power button for about 15 seconds to drain any residual power, All right? This makes it a lot safer to work on, especially if you're gonna mess with the screen LCD LVDS connector, you wanna do this process, All right? It's only 15 seconds, just take those few seconds, make sure you don't destroy your computer. Okay, just a few more and then we should be good to go. Okay, all right, let's close this up. And I'm just gonna show you what components are in here. I'm not gonna be taking everything out because we just need to work on the fan. But uh, here you can see there's an M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD here. One screw pops up slightly, you can pull it out. There's a connector here. This is most likely for like a um, network card that supports like a SIM. You see there's a SIM slot here, okay? Um, you also have the wireless um, Wi-Fi card here. The antennas, if you need to pull them out, you go from the tail and just pull straight up. Don't try and pry up from here or you can break the connectors off. Even then, these connectors can be a little fragile. Sometimes the solder's not done well, so be very careful with that. LCD LVDS connector, there's a little flip latch here. Once you flip this metal latch up, then you can go ahead and use that to help pull this back. Um, what else? You got the CMOS BIOS RTC real-time clock battery here. Okay, if you need, there's a uh, model information there. Okay, connector, you can grab the wings of this, wiggle and pull it out. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna reset the BIOS. You can actually see there's the button that I was talking about that you can press through the hole with a pin. Okay, what else? There's a case intrusion little switch here so it knows that the case was opened from that. Um, this is, I believe, the fingerprint reader. It's going underneath the, is that the fingerprint reader? What is that? No. Wait, what? That's not fingerprint reader. What is this board? Maybe it's like an NFC or something. There's this little connector. I'm not sure what it's going to because I don't see anything on the other end, but probably NFC or something. Um, then you got the touchpad trackpad connector here, flip latch there. It also connects to the fingerprint reader. Okay, then you got this connector connecting this board and this has a flip latch as well. You got the speaker connected to this board and a wire going from there to the other speaker here, okay. Uh, what else? There's a little connector here. I'm not sure what that's for. Headphone jack there. Okay, and yeah, is it just this one little board it seems? All right, you got the DC jack, charge port. Is that DC jack? No, that's just USB. So there's this USB 3 port here. It looks like it's connected to the motherboard there. And then you got a screen connection here, most likely for the microphones and stuff and the camera. And I'm pretty sure this is the LCD LVDS connector. 
Um, you got a little connector as well here, and it looks like there's a board that goes underneath. Interesting. Anyways, this thing is the wireless antenna. You can see the little gold patch going underneath, and then the other antenna here. And I think that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and disconnect the fan, and then um, clean it up and see if we can lubricate it so it works better. Okay. So the fan connector is here. I like to use my fingernails to kind of wiggle it. Um, there's not much room on the other end here, but I can go from this side, and there we go. Okay. We're going to flip this over. There's four screws holding the heat sink here, so let's undo those four screws. We are going to have to redo the thermal paste. After you remove the heat sink, you always want to redo the thermal paste. Don't just leave the old stuff there because it does leave a lot of air pockets. And also, if the thermal paste is older, then it's also not going to hold well. So you can see they only put thermal paste here. You don't need to put paste there. Um, and you can see the fan is there having a little bit of issue spinning. So we're going to get some paper towel here and we're going to clean it up. Okay. So paper towel and we're just going to wipe the old paste away. All right. And the paste actually here is pretty good. It didn't solidify or anything, so they weren't overheating it. We're going to use a little isopropyl alcohol on here to clean up any residue. There we go. And it's also linty and dusty, so let's go ahead and blow that stuff away. All right. Then we got this one here. We're going to clean that off as well. I'm going to turn it this way and wipe it down this way. Okay, there we go, put that down, and then we'll wipe this off, clean that all up. Okay, so there we go, we got that all clean. I'm going to use a little bit more isopropyl alcohol to clean it up a little bit more. Alright, a little bit better. And this side as well. Okay. So we got that cleaned up. We're going to set this aside for now. All right. We do need to remove the fan from here. So to do that, we're going to switch over to a J0 or PH0. And let's go ahead and undo the screws. So there's four screws here. Do all four screws and then hopefully we can pull the fan out and lubricate it last one it looks like the wire for the fan is going underneath here so you do want to be careful when separating the pieces okay it looks like there's also a, a sensor running along there's a wire and probably underneath that foam pad so let's see if we can lift this out without having to undo all of that um, there's some tape here holding the fan down, so we are going to have to peel that up. Let's see here. Oh, it's a little bit tricky. Okay, so peel this off. Sorry if I'm going out of view, but uh, you get the idea. Okay. So we're going to peel this adhesive up, carefully peel this out. Also, you can see this tape is just tearing, so we're going to have to cover it with some new tape. But uh, yeah, that tape sucks. All right, we're going to go ahead and peel this out as well. Yeah, it's just going to tear. See that? So that tape, it just shreds up. I don't think we'll be able to get all of the tape off. But it's okay. You can use any tape there to cover it. You don't have to use any special tape. All right. Yeah, this tape is all just shredding. The rest of this off, it doesn't want to come out. 
So we're going to have to just carefully lift this, it seems. All right, there's adhesive foam pad here also holding that down a little bit. Um, you can see some of the dust is trapped there, so we're going to use a toothbrush here and just kind of try and get that out. Okay, and then we're going to use the air blower to kind of blow the residual away. All right, let's see if we can pop the fan propellers out because that's what we want to do to clean it up. I'm going to brush it a little bit over here. And you can see this thing's just opening all the way. <clears throat> all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and go on opposite sides. And you can see in the middle, there's a more solid ring here and here. So I'm going to push on the um, back for the middle and see if we can pop this out. And it doesn't seem to want to pop out. So this is going to be likely one where we need to replace the whole fan because the fan doesn't want to pop out. Give me a second, I'm getting a customer calling. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Let's go ahead and pop this thing out. So again, let's try and push. Okay, oh, there we go, it came out. So again, you do have to push towards the outer edge where it has a solid piece. Don't push on the fins or you can break it. All right, so we're gonna do now, now that we have this open, we're gonna clean in here. There are like crumbs and stuff in there. And then we're gonna apply some new grease on it. Okay, so what I'm going to use, I just use some uh, um, motor oil. You can use any kind of oil or grease that's designed for moving components. Um, it doesn't need to be high heat. The fan doesn't get super hot. Okay, I don't know why some people think the fan gets really hot, but actually it doesn't. Okay, um, anyways, what we're going to do, we have this. So we're going to open this up if we can. <laughs> Okay, so you want to get grease into that part there. So, oh, actually, we can just leave it that way. All right, so I'm going to just tip the oil, and I have this little folded out paper clip. I'm going to use that, and I'm going to just drop some oil into the center there. Okay, and then from there, we're going to go ahead and put the propellers back in. All right, going to be a little tricky. Get everything lined up. Push that into place. All right, and then now that you have that in, you can just like spin it around. Okay, it sounds a lot better than before. And yeah, all right, so we're gonna push it through again, clean it up one more time. So push the propellers through, came out easier that time. And you can see we actually put too much grease, so it's kind of going out over the edges. We're gonna clean that up. Be very gentle with this. These propeller blades are super thin. Okay, we'll flip this back over, clean that up a little, and then we'll put a tiny bit of oil in and reassemble it, and we should be hopefully good to go. All right, so same thing. Get a little oil in there. Okay, next we're gonna just put the propellers back in, reassemble this, get a piece of tape over the top, and we should be good to go. All right, so line this all back up again. And I like to use this to kind of align it. You can see where the solid ring is and then push that back together. Okay, it's weird. It doesn't click when you push it back together. But uh, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and get the four screws back on. I always like to turn it backwards first just to make sure the screw goes in the right way. This one. This one. This one. And the last one here. All right, there we go. Clean up the oil thing here. All right. Let's reassemble this thing and see what we got. All right, so right now we have this. I'm gonna just use this to blow it. You can see it spins freely, okay? 
Okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead now and get this thing back together, apply some new thermal paste, and we should be hopefully good to go. All right, so there's the CPU. This isn't gonna take too much thermal paste. It does smush super thin. So we're just gonna put a little bit here, okay. Plenty. Try to pull the excess back in. There we go. Okay, so we're just gonna make like a line here. Oops, actually I need a tiny bit more. Too much. Okay. There we go. So we're gonna make a line here, somewhat like a grain of rice. Just like this. All right. Okay, so there we go. Just spread it out like that. Then when we go to put the heat sink on, it will smush it and spread it out. So let's we'll just get this line up the screw mounts and lower it into place all right these are numbered so we'll go here i like to twist backwards to have it go into the proper place position and then one two three second one same thing one two three third one one two three and fourth one one two three now everything's aligned one two three one two three one, two, three, and one, two, three. Now we can go ahead and just make sure everything's tightened all the way. Oh, let me switch back to the bigger screwdriver. And four. All right, make sure to reconnect the cable here. Okay, pinch that in. Good, all right, now the battery. All right, just slide this into place. Lower it down and push that down. I like to also kind of pull this up a little bit to make sure it's slid in all the way that direction. And then we'll just get all these screws back in. And that's pretty much it um, as far as working on this computer, upgrading components and redoing the thermal paste goes. All right, this screw. If you lose screws, this one's the most important because it's pushing it down here for the battery connector. So if you lose some of the screws and you only have a few of the battery screws, you can move one over there. All right, anyways, let's go ahead, zoom out more and get the bottom cover in and we should be good to go. Okay. So we'll get the bottom cover. This you do need to put the bottom or the front end where it opens in first. Go at an angle, slide it in, make sure this gap is flush. Lower this down, click everything in, and then get these screws back down. And again, that's pretty much it. Again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade or repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If you can't help out that way, again, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well, because that's what the algorithm likes to see. Other than that, yeah, let's go ahead and power this thing on. I'm kind of curious to see if it sounds, it should be able to hear a difference. Yep, this fan sounds good. And that's pretty much it. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Okay, let's drop this. Bye. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, don't forget to put some kind of tape back here so that way the air, when it blows, it doesn't come back out. This just helps keep the airflow better through there. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.